Hello and welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how to use our new multi-language feature to create multi-language sites in Super. So the first thing I want to mention is that this Super feature doesn't automatically translate all of your website content for you. You do need to do that manually in Notion. However, Notion's AI tools make that a lot easier. So to begin, let's head to the folder that contains our website. And once in here, I'm going to click to duplicate our website and we're going to duplicate our entire website for each language that we want in Super. So for this one, I'm going to rename it and use an abbreviation for the language I want. So in this case, ES, I'm going to go back and I'm going to click and command D to duplicate. And once that's done, I'm going to rename this one to DE for German. And for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to be translating two languages today. So once we have our language pages, let's go in again and start translating the content. So there's many ways you can do this. I'm going to be using Notion AI. If you don't have access to Notion AI, you can use other AI tools like ChatGPT. If you're using Notion AI, we can click and drag to select our blocks. And then we can choose Ask AI to translate to German. It'll take a few seconds and it's going to give us some updated blocks that we can insert below and then delete the old blocks. Again, for the purpose of the video, I'm not going to be translating the whole website content today, just so we keep this video nice and short. I'm just going to be translating the hero section. So once we've done that, we go back into our Spanish. Again, I'm going to clean up the page a little bit and I'm going to click and drag to select Ask AI to translate to Spanish. Insert below, delete the old blocks. Great. I'm happy with that for now. So we've got two separate subpages, Spanish and German. And the next thing we need to do is move these inside our main website page. You can do that by selecting, clicking and dragging, or you can also command X to cut or control if you're on Windows and then paste them at the top of the page, Command V or Control V if you're on Windows. So now to confirm, we've got our main website page in Notion. This is the home page in Super. Once we click into that at the top, we've got our new languages. So DE for German, ES for Spanish. And inside that, we've got our translated content. So once we're happy, the next thing we need to do is head into Super and start connecting our new language pages. Once in Super, let's head into the Pages page and begin by pulling in the new Notion pages by clicking the Refresh Page button. You can see then the pages appear at the top and also in our page list. From here, let's head into the Design options and either into the Site Design or Theme and then into the Layout page. At the bottom of here, we can see Notion page links and let's hide them so they don't appear on our super site. Next, let's head into the New Languages page, which is at the bottom of the sidebar on the Super Dashboard. And once we're in here, we can click the Add Language button to begin adding languages to our site. So first, we choose a language from the list. I'm going to type to search, so I'm going to type for Spanish. And then we choose our language homepage. So I'm going to choose ES, Continue. And you can see now also our language picker has appeared in the navbar. So let's go ahead and add another language. So I'm going to type German and then choose DE. Now, if we click into our live site, we can now test out the language picker feature. If you click on this little icon up here, we can now choose from our languages. And if we click into that, it will show us the relevant pages. All right, so there's a few other options we can begin exploring now that we have the language picker enabled. And that is, in, if you go into the language settings, we can see this option to choose navigation items for that specific language. So if you, for example, want to change what appears in the navigation bar based on the languages, you can do that in here as well. So that's pretty much it for this one, guys. Once you've got all the content ready in Notion, it's quick and easy to add new languages in Super. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Until next time, stay super.